All right, welcome guys. Uh, I got a humble request to watch this uh, this Hell's Reach um, little animation. Uh, it's another 40k thing, so y'all seem to like that last Astartes thing. Uh, <laughs> I still have my mustache on, I just realized. <laughs> it's all right, we're rolling with it. We're, we're just going to roll with it. The following work is unofficial. Okay. Yeah, it's a fan made thing, right? Prologue. I will die on this world. Oh, this is so neat. I cannot tell where this conviction comes from. Whatever birthed it is a mystery to me. I love this animation the style. Clings like a virus, like sketchbook behind my eyes and taking deep root within my mind. It almost feels real enough to spread corruption to the rest of my body, like a true sickness. It will happen soon, within the coming nights of blood and fire. I will draw my last breath, and when my brothers return to the stars. My ashes will be scattered over the priceless earth of this accursed world. Armageddon. War, it Even never changes. It my blood until burning oil beats through my veins. I feel anger now. What is this Hot floating skull thing? Flowing through my heart and filtering into my limbs like boiling poison. My hands curl into fists. I am strong. Born only to slay for the Emperor and the Imperium. Is this supposed to be the voice of this guy? Because it kind of the blackest of the black. I don't know why it doesn't like fit for me. Spiritual guide as well as a war leader. I am Wrath incarnate. Wrath incarnate. Living only to kill. That's metal as fuck. Finally killed. I am a weapon. In the eternal crusade to forge humanity's mastership of the stars. Its strength, purity, and wrath will not be enough. I will die on this world. I will die on Armageddon. Well, that's really neat. <clears throat> I want to see more. Is this part two? Was this like two minutes? First one? Yeah, we'll watch another one. I want to see some, I want to see some like fighting. no way endorsed by Games Workshop. I guess that's who owns the copyright for um, 40k. In the grim darkness of the far future there's, on there's only wars. There is only war is what I think that said. There's some Halo vibes, kind of. Choir. Oh. <laughs> It's like a huge ship. Kind of hard to tell what some of this is on like my huge monitor. I, or I have a TV I'm looking at. Sizable TV. Probably be easier if it was on like a little tinier screen. It still looks really cool though. Hell's Reach. By Aaron something? Not even gonna attempt to say that last name. <laughs> Aaron D. We'll go. We'll go with that. Aaron D. You are very talented. This floating head is weird. Is it just like a, a remote droid from in the holiest Star Wars? Of our ancient flagship, 
I lower myself to one knee and bow my head, because this is what is asked of me. Grimaldus, High Marshal Helbrecht intoned. His voice was a guttural rumble, rendered harsh from yelling orders and battle cries in a hundred wars and a hundred worlds. We have summoned you to be just. <laughs> I don't know about these voices. <laughs> I have answered the summons. I submit myself before your judgment, my liege. Mardred is dead. Helbrecht's voice was a deep murmur. Slain by the arch enemy. Kind of sounds like the Emperor, Grimaldus like Emperor Palpatine. We have all of us lost a brother. I don't know what it I was, was expecting this to sound like, but it wasn't this. Was this. <laughs> that upon his death, you would be worthiest of our brother chaplains to stand in his stead. His final decree was that you, of all your brethren, would be the one to rise to the rank of the Reclusia. The figure inclined his head in greeting. Arterium, we draw near to our destination. I took the liberty of readying the squad for Planetfall. This world will burn. It will not be the first, nor the last. Have you seen the projections, the fleet auguries, the number of vessels in the local systems already? I lost interest when the numbers became too high for me to count on my fingers. Artarian snorted at his own weak jest. We will fight and win, or fight and die. All that ever changes is the color of the sky we fight under, and the shade of the blood on our blades. Very true. War never changes, once again. It's interesting how there is some, like, narration in the middle there. My brother's names are Artarian, Priamus, Cador. Nerova and Bastilan. Bastila? It's a character from uh, Knights of the Old Republic. These are the knights that have waged war beside me for decades. We are the knights of Squad Grimaldus. Within his veins, Cador carries the blessed blood of Rogal Dawn with what seems like weary honor. He is older than I, older by far. His decades within the Sword Brethren are behind him now. Primus is the rising sun to Cato's Ooh, whatever that is looks cool. He is aware of his skills. It's kind of dagger or sword or something. Way of many young warriors. Like the knuckle duster on the, on the guard. Himself. It is not mistaken. Yeah, like all their armor, it looks Artarion sick. Is... <laughs> Artarion. My shadow, just as I am his. It is rare among our number for any knight to lay aside personal glory, yet Artarion is the one who carries my banner into battle. Nerevar is the newest among us. The squad requires the like a... presence of an apothecary. It's got like a In chainsaw the on his, the his forearm. That's his very cool. Endurance. Very um Bastilan is last. Gears of War. Bastilan, Although Gears of War is probably a leader, but not inspired by 40k if anything. Presence, but not I'm pretty sure 40k has been around for a really long time. A sergeant, never fated to rise as a Castellan or Marshal. Would love to know how long it's been around for. If anyone knows. My brothers go through the same rituals of checking and rechecking. Curious sense of unease descends upon me. Shit. <laughs> and I am. I'm such a missile magnet. That's like the fourth ship that's been shot down while I've been around today. <laughs> Yeah, that's a whole ass sword. That's pretty cool. And there is talk of the High Marshal nominating you to lead a crusade. Kind of looked like it might have, like a chainsaw sword, which would be even. It is my belief. 
even cooler. <laughs> of your fallen master, that you should take the honor we offer you now. You have waged war at my side for two hundred years, Grimaldus. Will you stand at my what? side as reclusiarch of the Eternal Crusade? That's right. They they age slowly. He said he's been fighting for two hundred years. Can you imagine? Like, wouldn't you just want to die at some point? It's not enough war for one per one one lifetime. Jesus. I dub the Reclusiarch of the Eternal Crusade as a Knight of the Inner Circle. Let that be the last blow you receive unanswered. It will be so. My leash. As it should be. I'm getting like a bad guy vibe from this this uh, group in this story. Is there like good and bad? I guess it's all from a certain point of view. But... Nice. Yeah, that was really cool. Thank you for um, you know who you are. <laughs> Thank you for suggesting that. Uh, if yeah, if anyone else would like to see any other um, see me react or like suggest any other videos, shoot. Go for it. I'd love to watch him. I'd uh, love to learn more about 40k as well. Like I said, I probably never like play it, but uh, yeah, the visuals are really cool. Uh, the lore seems pretty neat. Uh, yeah, so catch you on the next one. Thanks.